Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing part seven of my joining the Dark Brotherhood epic. And this is now where, as an assassin, your character will have to hunt down the gourmet. And, well, it's relatively easy and simple. You can actually kill both guys involved without incurring a bounty, but you got to be a little sneaky about one of them. And that is what I'm going to show you what to do. So let's get on with um, killing the gourmet. You have to go to Understone Keep and talk to Antonio Varane in the kitchen area. Now this is patrolled by uh, Thalmor, and well, it's very difficult to kill him, but you got to be sneaky about it. Now you see him. You don't want to talk to him yet. There's kitchen staff about, and if you kill him with witnesses, you're going to end up with a bounty. So what you want to do is wait until nighttime. I'm waiting at least 12 hours here. And then when there's just him and another kitchen staff member, you go and talk to him. Then you will wind up having to wait to kill him. In fact, yeah, there's too many kitchen staff. I'm going to wait. Oh, yeah, you see this Thalmor? I'm going to wait at least another two hours, and then I'm going to go back and talk to him. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Now you want to go out and wait a little bit. I'm waiting about an hour. And then check on Anton. He's in bed, or going to bed. And you wait for him to go to bed. Once he goes to bed, you want to make sure that that servant woman is now out of the room. And then you go in and you shut the door to minimize any chance of being observed. And you want to switch to a distance weapon. And you just simply shoot him. As long as you're not observed, he's dead. Now you can just walk away and escape. That is the easy part. Next, you got to go travel to kill... Balaga, whatever his name is, who is the Gourmet. And now we're going to travel to kill the Gourmet. 
the Gourmet is at Nightgate Inn, and you can ask about him and find out some information. Samid. Him? Oh, uh, uh, name's, uh, Balablob, or, uh, Malaklob, uh, one of them funny orc names. Talks real good, though. Not a savage at all. Said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is, but it must earn him some pretty coin. He's paid up for the next few months. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake, sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Man can do whatever he pleases, far as I care. You can go down into the cellar and try and kill the orc there, or you can wait until he's outside, standing by the lake, and kill him. It's late now, so I'm going to fast forward a couple hours, and yeah, you could sneak down into the cellar, but I'm not going to do that. I want to kill him by the lake, so I'm going to wait even more time, keep an eye on it. He doesn't come out, so I'm going to wait a few more hours. Yep, I'm trying to wait until he leaves the cellar. And yeah, I'm going to go outside, or stand here. Uh, again, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to try and wait this guy until he comes out by the lake. And right there, I'm going to give it a couple hours. Yeah, he's now Yeah, it's 11 a.m., 11:30 and he's by the lake. Whatever it is, I'm Skyrim's carrying physics is a little weird. So yeah, I managed to drag him into the lake. And now I'm going to go back and talk to Festus and find out more information. So, the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Be 
Greetings, brother. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. For some reason, I feel Astrid is being a little snippy and sarcastic when she said that. But I digress. Now it's time to kill the Emperor, posing as a cook. And that will be the epic part eight. So stay tuned for part eight to be posted. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to be informed when part eight comes out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.